Okay, just showing you guys the Ruger Vaquero. This would be the new model Vaquero. I don't know if everybody knows the difference. I can go over that a little bit on the later side. As you know, always make sure gun's empty. Not a problem there. All mine are. Anyway, taking a basic look here. This is the stainless model. It's a six round, single action. Looking at the business end there. As you know, it's a single action trigger, which means that the trigger or the hammer has to be fully pulled back, and you can see that's the only way it'll fire. Nothing else can happen here. It's just the way it's made. It's been like that for years. It goes back to the old famous Colt Peacemaker, Colt Single Action Army, first, second, third. 20 millionth generation the way they are. It's the way they've always been built. The sights on these things, it's a fixed blade front. It's a groove in the back. When you look down the sights, that's what you're looking at. You see the blade, you put just the tip of the blade where you want the bullet, depends on the how far you want to shoot. That's why the blade is different heights there. So you can adjust how far you're shooting up close or using just a tip the more you go out the more that blade that you want to see this gun loads a little different than the original Colts this one here the side gate which is this piece right here the side gate needs to be open which it does on the other one too but there is no half cock on this gun what that means if anybody that owns old Colts like I do. I could bring one of those out and show you. Guess I should have done that for this video. This gun doesn't need to be cocked. It doesn't have a half cock. It doesn't have any of that. To load this pistol itself, you just open the side gate and then you put your cartridges in and turn. As you can see, I got some unloaded cartridges so you can just see what I'm talking about here. You just take the cartridge, you put it in, Slide it in, turn the next one. Until you get all six in there. Make sure they're all loaded, and you close the gate back. Now, if these were live bullets, this gun would be 100% functional at this point. All you would need to do would be pull back on the hammer and then let the trigger go and the gun would go boom to unload it it's a little bit different again because this isn't a Colt this is a Ruger Vaquero you open the side gate here again no half cock no nothing like that needs to be done now you have your push out bar spring loaded on the other side of the pistol there you just rotate the cylinder until the back part of the brass is lined up with the chute and you push your brass out. Go to your next one, push it out. Next one, and you can throw them out dramatically like that or you can just let them go a little bit. Make sure it's all the way empty, close your gate back, and there you go. Now, this model here is the four and five eighths barrel and it weighs right at about 38 ounces so I mean it's not light but then again it's perfectly balanced though I mean I mean these things are just they're just so fun to shoot I, I can't explain it you just have to go shoot one of these one of my old Colts one of these anything they're just so fun to shoot and they are so accurate and you can hand load these you guys know I hand load you've seen some other video I have to show a video of loading these but they're just so fun they're fun to shoot I mean, it's just great. The grips are just there, perfect. No wonder this is the gun that won the West. I mean, really, come on. A little bit different chambering. They didn't have, you know, you can, on this one here, I got the 45 Colt. As you can see, you can shoot 45 long Colt, which is this. They do have a short Colt, very hard to find. It's actually an old, old cartridge. And you can also shoot 45 Schofield. And you can also shoot 45 ACP if you buy a conversion cylinder for this. Why you would want to, I have no idea. Um, I guess if you don't reload 45 
ACP is a lot cheaper and a lot easier to come by but I reload and you know I can reload my own so I mean if you're gonna own these and you know really want to do a lot of shooting I would invest in a reloader I mean I'm not saying you have to but they're just fun guns and you know being stainless steel and the safe action of Ruger like here's another thing like in the old you know like the old Colts that we use and uh, you know cowboy action shooting and all that kind of stuff you're only only supposed to load five and the reason for that is on the old Colts and the old model revolvers when you cock the hammer look in the old westerns or you know look online or I'll bring one out you'll see a, a firing pin is made onto the back side of this hammer and as that hammer goes down it pierces the back side of the primer just like it does on every gun well what Ruger came out with years ago which was a great idea very very safe in the fact that it's called a transfer bar and what that means now if you look at the back of this pistol when I cock it if you look down in there it's kinda of hard to see I don't have the best light there's a transfer bar in there remember I don't have any kind of firing pin made onto the back side of this and you can see that the way this is grooved the way this works is that bar right there that you guys see up in that slot when I pull the trigger that bar goes up see how it's going up over the striker and as the hammer falls it allows the internal firing pin to strike the back of that case or the primer which sends the bullet down the chamber so basically getting back to what I was saying when you loaded the old Colts for safety you would load one like that then you would skip one then you would load the others so when you were done loading when you cocked it and you put the hammer down you would be down on an empty chamber you don't need to do that with these with the Ruger you can go ahead and load that six round safely because there's no way that this pistol can go off by hitting this you can strike that with a hammer and this gun will not go off you can't do that with an old Colt if you try that with one of my older Colts if you stroke the back of this hammer if you drop this weapon and it went boom that bullet would fire out of there because the firing pins were made onto the hammers not so in the Ruger's that is one great design from Ruger now when you single action shoot or if you're doing any cowboy shoot and you still by their rules have to load five but I'm just saying if you're out on the range plinking you don't need to load just five unless you just want to keep in the habit of it so and you'll see some video you'll see me shooting I think I'm gonna put some at the beginning and you know some at the very end there and then you know once again you can just see that that's just a it's a huge hole I mean 45 Colt big big boy right there that's the business end that's what you've seen in the Old West it might have been the last thing you've seen at the Old West hopefully not hopefully you were the guy that seen that end <laughs> so anyway uh, just a little fun with the Ruger here I was out cleaning it up thought I'd bust out a little video for you guys and oh just so you guys know to take this thing apart it's very easy if you want to take the chamber out clean it up just open your open your gate there and you'll see this little button right there on the side you just push this button and then this bar you just slide the bar out it comes out very easy and then voila your cylinders out now you can clean it very easy it's a hell of a lot easier to clean outside of the gun and at the same time it's very easy to get in there clean powder fouling that gets up in there by the coning area all that you can get up in there and clean all that gunk out really really good put it back together it's basically the same thing just make sure you got your rotation in the back you just drop it down in the gun go ahead and put your bar back in and then you just got to push that button and it puts the bar in for you so you have to push the button unlock it slides it back and forth you hear it click and as soon as it's clicked just rotate it close the gate voila there you go there's the Ruger very fun gun to shoot just a all-around great one